Hey guys, Chad Trofgruben here. In this tutorial, I show you how to swap objects in and out with the switch layer. As I have mentioned in previous tutorials, I come from a Flash background. So starting Anime Studio required a bit of adjustment for me. However, I soon realized that Flash and Anime Studio do have a lot of similarities. For instance, in Flash, I would use what are called symbols to make various different stages of an object. In Anime Studio, you can do the same with a switch layer. And in some cases, the switch layer makes things a lot easier. So let's see what the switch layer does by starting with a simple example. Make sure you have a new document open and let's grab the shape tool. Now select a rectangle or an oval, any shape you wish, and then come over here and select a fill color of red. And the stroke color can be whatever you wish. Now let's just come onto the stage and just draw out an oval. Now let's say I want to have the same exact oval but I want it to be a different color and I want to use this in my animation. At one point in the animation I want to quickly change to a different color. Well first let's duplicate this layer by coming over here to the layers panel and choosing the duplicate layer button. Now we have two layers that are the same thing. Let's hide layer one by choosing this icon right here, the eyeballs. Then select layer two. Come over here to the select shape tool and just click the shape and then change the fill color to something else like green. So now we have those two shapes in the exact same spot. So how do we swap them in and out? Well, this is where we create a switch layer. So go to your layers panel and go to the new layer button and choose switch. Now click on the bottom layer Hold and shift and click the second layer, the one that has your other oval, and just drag those two layers underneath the switch layer. Now, with the switch layer, only one of these two objects will be shown at any given time. And you can adjust this by simply right clicking on the switch layer and choosing which layer you want to display. To make this easier, we may want to rename these layers. So I'll rename layer one by double clicking to red and layer two to green. So now you can choose between red or green whenever you wish. And that's the one that will be displayed. Now as far as animation is concerned, let's say you're out on the timeline. So let's say you start on frame one with red. And as you continue along, let's say on frame 30, you want green. Just right click and choose green on that frame. And as you can see, the timeline puts those keyframes in. You're at red to a certain point, And then when you hit frame 30, it turns green. So this is a very simple example of this. So what would this be used for? Well, it could be used for many different things. Let's say you have a cartoon character who has different positions of his hand, a closed fist, an open palm, pointing a finger. You can make a switch layer for all those instances of that hand. Or maybe if a character is blinking or moving his or her eyes. You can also animate these layers. I could animate inside this green layer. And so whenever then the switch layer activates the green layer, you'll see that animation in that green layer play out. And I showed you a little bit about how animations are self-contained in layers in a previous tutorial. To demonstrate this further, 
let me open up a file here to show you. Here I have a simple cartoon character I made for the openings of my tutorials. As you can see, I have switch layers here though. And for instance, I have an eyes switch layer. So when I click this, you'll see that I have different instances of the eyes. I have them shut. I have them looking down this way, looking down that way, and looking at the screen. And at any time, I can just right click and swap those in and out. So that's just, again, a very basic example of switch layers. But as you can see, it can save you a lot of time. You just go through and make all those instances of your body parts for your characters or for your scenery. And then you have it all ready to go. You don't have to draw those things out as you go through and animate. You can have them ready to go and you can just swap them in and out as you need. And of course, you can add or delete them as you need as well as you go through your cartoon. Anyway, that wraps up this lesson. I have more coming up, so I'll see you guys next time.